For a while now, it has been possible to have voice recordings transcribed directly in Apple's Voice Memos app or in the Notes app. With just a few taps, you get a transcript alongside your audio recording, which you can then summarize, correct, or process further using Apple Intelligence or ChatGPT. From there, you can take the result and turn it into a new note or a new document. With Apple Shortcuts, you can automate all these steps so they run one after another without having to do anything manually. For example, you can send an audio file from the Voice Memos app to a shortcut via the share sheet. The shortcut transcribes the file, sends the text to an AI for processing, for example with Apple AI or ChatGPT, and then automatically creates a new notes from the result. In this video, I will show you step by step how to set this up. It's very easy to do and you only need four actions in the Apple's Shortcuts app. And of course, you can download this shortcut and many others from my Patreon website. So let's get started. Open the app Apple's Shortcuts on your iPhone, iPad or Mac. And there you will find a plus button on the top right corner to create a new shortcut. Tap on it and you have to find your shortcut in the share sheet later. For that, tap on the name on the top and rename your shortcut. For example, transcribe. If you tap on this little icon on the left, you can choose a color and an icon, but this doesn't matter for the function. Now swipe down the search bar and there you will find the button for the info menu. Open the info menu and there you have to enable show in share sheet. Activate it and hit done on the top right corner. Next, tap on apps and 18 more to clear all the enabled function and enable media. After that, tap on done on the top right corner. You can also use your shortcut directly here from Apple Shortcuts or from the home screen. For that, tap on continue and enable ask for. Here you have to tap on photos and switch it to files. And now we need action to transcribe our audio file. Tap into search actions and search for transcribe. Select the action transcribe audio and tap and hold audio file. Here you can select the variable shortcut input. We will use the result from this action with ChatGPT or with Apple Intelligence. Because I have the iPhone 13 Pro, I don't have access to Apple Intelligence, but I can use ChatGPT. If you have access to Apple Intelligence, use it because there you can use the on device model and this is much faster. Tap into search actions and search for ChatGPT or for your Apple Intelligence action. I search for ChatGPT and there you will find the action Ask ChatGPT. Tap on it and here we need our prompt. Doesn't matter if you use the ChatGPT action or the model from Apple Intelligence. You can use your own prompt or if you want, you can copy and paste the prompt from the video description. Tap into message and I select paste. After you have inserted the prompt, you have to insert the transcription too. Tap behind your text and select the variable transcribe audio. You will find it over your keyboard and on the Mac make a right click and select the variable transcribe audio. Select it and then exp expand the action and activate start new chat. Disable show when run. You don't need it. Finally, we have to create a new note. Tap into search actions and search for create note. Select the action Create Note and tap and hold the Contents field and select your Ask ChatGPT output. If you want, you can select a folder too. If you want to start your shortcut directly from your home screen, tap on the Info menu and enable Add to Home Screen. Here you can select a color and a name, but this doesn't matter, and tap on Add. You will find your shortcut on the home screen. You can start it from here and it will open your files to select the audio file or you can also open the Voice Memos app or the Notes app and select the audio file, tap on the share sheet to share the audio file with your new shortcut. I search it, here it's transcribe, here it is. 
With Apple Shortcuts, you can do so much more. For example, you can combine multiple photos to just one image. Watch this video where I will show you how to. And of course, if you don't want to miss videos like that, subscribe my channel and activate the bell. See you next time. Bye bye.